Hi, this is Thea Monier and welcome to today's Truth Talks. I'm so sorry it's taken a while to get back to you, but here I am. And today I'm really excited because as promised, today we are taking questions from the youth of the Say Word LA organization. This is an amazing organization that I'm very honored to be a part of. Uh, the executive director is Kat McGill, and uh, she uses spoken word curriculum to teach children creativity, literacy, healing, I mean, a number of things that we all know spoken word and artistry and creativity uh, can do, not just for youth, but for adults. So uh, this is an open forum where we basically discuss um, questions that you have provided and ways to address those just as human beings, just a third party objective perspective. It in no way replaces your parents, your teacher, your say word teacher, uh, anybody, any adult in your life or friend that you trust. It is simply meant to be an additional voice of somebody who cares an objective third party opinion. And I hope you take it as such. So there were themes that came up believe it or not, amongst you and your peers, um, I could put them in piles and, and kind of ended up putting them in three major piles. Um, one was peer relationships, uh, shyness, difficulty feeling comfortable trusting peers. Another one was family relationship and um, issues. And the third one was, what's going to happen after I graduate high school? which appears to be terrifying you. So today my goal is to uh, sort of dispel some of the fear about that. So the two that I'll be dealing with today are um, what happens after high school and peer relationships. Shyness is something that is very based on the individual and the reasons why we may feel shy, which we would consider to be sort of uh, not feeling like I fit in, uncomfortable expressing myself in front of people, um, could be very different for each person. However, it shares a few unique traits. One is, you know, a lack of confidence, um, feeling like if I display myself in this way, I will be rejected or I won't be accepted um, in some way. And that is 150% normal adults deal with that same way as youth. However, I definitely understand that in high school that's heightened. Um, and another common theme to feeling um, shy, we'll just keep it at shy, is not quite yet knowing fully who you are. And I think that's supposed to be the process um, in high school and 14, 15, 16, and 17 year olds and up are still trying to figure out where they fit. And so until they know that confidently, they tend to be shy or have difficulty expressing themselves in front of others. So here's where I like to start, okay? I have this exercise that I do with, with my teens and I have them create a circle on a piece of paper and then a bigger circle around that circle, and then a bigger circle, right? So in that middle, middle circle goes the most important things to you in the entire world. Your iPod, if that's it, your favorite music band, your favorite thing to do, whether it's dance or drawing, whatever, everything goes in this middle, whether it's your family, your sister, your brother, your best friend, whatever, it goes in this middle. The second circles for things that are kind of important to you or that, you know, help you to relate to the world. And the things outside of that are the things outside the bubble completely, which you could really care less about. For some kids, that's academics versus sports, or it could be a number of things. But what we're trying to establish is who are you and what's most important to you? And why is that important? That's important because if I know what's most important to me at that core, then I know what's going to pull me into relationships with other people, with other kids my age, right? So if I know that I'm into, this is a long shot, but jazz or something like that, then um, a kid, another kid that's really into jazz that may play an instrument and I play an instrument, we more may have more in common to form a bond. There may be less of a risk of being um, rejected or there may be more of an acceptance and an understanding for who I am and how I see the world. This is 
how we see the world right now. Now, this could change. This circle could evolve year to year, from freshman year to senior year, but it gives us a start. It gives us a start about what's most important to us. So what do we do once we have established those circles? And how does that relate to our shyness? Well, knowing who we are is something that other people cannot take away from us, right? So yes, it might be terrifying to walk in front of the class, right? But when we do that, let's think about what's really going through our mind. What's really going through our mind is that we'll get up there and people will have something to say about what we're doing, uh, how we're doing it. But really, who we are is what we really feel they're saying something about. You're less likely to care what people think about who you are if you know that with some degree of certainty or comfort. Again, this may shift from year to year, but in the moment, you know that, right? So when it comes to speaking in front of crowds and things like that, I, you know, I have to leave that to Kat McGill and her crew because that's part of what they empower you to do with Say Word. But I can say that starting with the truth about who you are and being able to be that truth is the beginning of a good relationship or entering into a good relationship with any of your peers, whether they be friends, significant others, or whatever you want to call them, being true to who you are will help eliminate some of that shyness or that fear around being accepted or rejected. Because if somebody rejects you, then you know that they're probably not compatible with you anyway, right? Because you know who you are. So I, I want you to try the circles. And and once you really identify those core things, look around your peer group and see who also fits into those circles. And that doesn't mean that you don't get along people in different circles. It just means you know who you will most likely feel accepted by. And honestly, it will help you to walk in those other circles and still feel pretty cool about yourself and them and respect the differences in the circles. Um, so I hope that helps. It actually bleeds into uh, the part about what do I do after I graduate from high school, right? Because if we've taken the steps to figure out, use this time in high school to figure out who we are, what's important to us, not just our family, but to us as individuals, if we've done the circles and we know where we are and where we fit, a lot of decisions about college kind of come through that, right? So if I know that in my core circle, like we were saying before, is maybe music, I might be inclined to look at a school with an awesome music program. I may look at um, different programs that relate to that or, or, or like what aspect of that do I want to explore further. The college process, however, or, or if that's what you want to do, whatever you want to do after high school, it's about exploration. The next phase of your life is about, okay, I've identified myself as this. How can I shape that? How can I build that? How can I challenge that? Because your 20s are going to be a lot of challenging and experimenting and exploring about what you believe in who you are. So the question you first need to ask yourself is, what is the next step that can help me to have a better and deeper and clear understanding of who I am? For some of you, it may be college. For some of you, it may be trade school. For some of you, it may be work. For some of you, it may be military. It, there's a, a number of different options available to you. I'm sure they've been rammed down your throat by now. But the only thing that matters in that is the question, which option will provide me with more of an opportunity to develop and explore who I am and who I want to be. And if the question is, I don't know who I am and who I want to be, and I need to figure that out, you know, don't be afraid to sign up for a few classes at a community college where you can test and try out things and don't spend a whole bunch of money on it. I mean, Santa Monica College is an, a, a wonderful. I mean, I'm always impressed when I take uh, students over there to try to figure out what they want to do. And a lot of them don't have their mind laid up, and that's fine, but they start the process somewhere. It's okay to not know right now. The thing that's most important is that you understand that there's there needs to be a desire to want to know who I am and what I need to develop into the best version of me that I can. Use all your resources. Talk to the people in Say Word. Talk to college counselors. Talk to people who are employed your agency, how that's working for them. Just explore. 
no one expects you to have it all together just because you have a high school diploma in your hand. They know it's a journey. And so the most important thing that you know is your journey. It is your journey. So take control of it early and ask yourself, what do I need to be the best version of myself that I can possibly be? As I said before, I won't be addressing the family issues in this particular truth talk because I want to make sure there's certain things in place with your say word um, staff um, to make sure that if you have any further questions about things that are discussed in the truth talk, you have people you can turn to and talk to. What I will say is every school has a school counselor. So if you do feel like these matters are pressing and you really need someone to talk to, please, please, please reach out to your school counselor. There are resources available to help you right away. Don't hesitate. Okay, so let's review real quick. Now, we be true to ourselves, figure out what's most important to us, and start developing relationships based on that. Not so that we can keep people outside of a bubble, but so that we feel comfortable walking into many different types of bubbles and that we secure a certain amount of authenticity in the one that we've created. Then we take that bubble and we ask ourselves, what do we need to take this to the next level? What do I need to develop myself further and continue this exploration process that I've already started? I'm going to tell you a secret about high school. Everybody has it wrong most of the time. You are already perfect, whole, and complete. There's nothing wrong with you. And there's people there right now who think you're awesome and you may never know that they may never come tell you because they may be shy. So if you break out of your shyness and you start to figure out who you are, you are liberating your peers to do the same. And I'm here. The Say Word staff is here, and we all want the best for you. So I thank you so much for your questions, and I will be responding to some more of the more delicate um, questions that you all ask very soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day.